guys welcome back to my channel so this is the first video that i'm recording after the holidays everything you guys saw before this was pre-recorded but i am glad to be back and i started taking down the christmas decorations but i still think there are some stuff outside that i need to remove but also some new mods have been added which i'm excited about um, i believe there's some better armor so that's something i want to look into because we plan on fighting the ender dragon very soon so that's kind of what I want to do today, just basically get my gear as best as possible. So yeah, let's get started. So as you guys can see, all the Christmas stuff is gone from here, and I put these little like, well they're stairs, but they look like shelves to display some of my little figure cases. Here I guess I've put like, the animals I guess you could call it, and then I put some downstairs. So over here, oh yeah. Cody left us because he asked me to add some mods before the holidays and I was traveling so I could only do it once I got back but they have now been added. Also I don't know if I showed you guys this but I made an ender chest where I keep my valuables because then no one can take them. But yeah so I made more of those little shelves here and then I've just basically put all of like I guess the zombies and whatnot and then endermen and creeper and then here we just have the other mobs, spiders, skeletons, guardians, and stuff. I don't know where I'm gonna put any new ones I get because I feel like up there is gonna look weird and I don't know. We are actually removing the mod Mo Swords, which is actually how um, I got this sword here. It's the double bladed sword, and it's kind of sad because I have a lot of good things on it, but. This mod does have like a meteor that can hit at any second and it could basically destroy our houses or even break the server so that's why we're replacing it. We've already added another mod that has some cool swords but this one is going to be disappearing so I'll have to get a replacement sword and that also means that that sugar sword will disappear and luckily I didn't really get to making any of the other ones so I'll have to see which new ones we have and maybe I could still have a collection of them. And if not, if they're not very interesting, then maybe I'll turn this into my figure case room. Let's actually take a look really quick, see what kind of swords they have. Okay, so there are still quite a few- oh, then again, we haven't removed the most swords yet. We're just giving everyone a chance to like, replace their swords and stuff before we just get rid of it. But we did add all of these, and I believe it's this one that has like, really good damage it's 12 and you just need a lot of diamonds which luckily i have so i think that's what i might actually do there are also like abilities that come with it not really sure but it does do 12 attack 1.4 attack speed let's compare it to mine right now this one's 1 1.6 i mean they're pretty similar but this one does do more damage so i'm okay with that i think the sword that is my goal is actually gonna be this one the nether star sword they do have the advanced one but for this one you need like a lot of nether stars so that one's a little difficult it does do 60 damage but i feel like that's a bit unnecessary so this one is 30 and i feel like this is doable but for now i will make this sword right here let me go back to my ender chest also I'm gonna break these <laughs> and we'll grab some diamonds it's a handle, not a stick. How do I make that? It's a wool and sticks. Or a string and stick. Okay. I have all of those things. Alright, let's try this again. So, there we go. And now, ta-da! My new sword. Now I just need to get all the enchantments on it again. Which is a little annoying, but luckily we did add the advanced combat. Um, mod so that means I can add advancements to it which is a lot easier than enchanting stuff. I think I just call it advancements but they're upgrades so let's see. Yeah so with sharpness all I need is flint, iron sword, and paper which is totally doable and that could get me up to sharpness 5. And then to get all the way up to 10 I'll need a lot of diamonds but I don't think that's really necessary right now, so I'm going to at least get my sword up to sharpness 5. Actually, let me just try to enchant it first, see what I get. Just unbreaking. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I think I'm still going to do it. Maybe I'll get something else on it that's good, and then I'll just add the upgrades. What did we get? Just unbreaking. Well, that's unfortunate. 
such a waste of a 30 level enchantment. Okay, so I have all the items, I think. And then I guess I need to make five of these. Oh, why didn't it make a bunch? What? I guess I have to do one at a time. Now, put the sword in there. And yep, sharp this one. Two, three, four, and five. Perfect. On this one, I do have knockback, which I don't care for that much. Um, it was only sharpness four, and then unbreaking three, which I still have, and looting three. So that's gonna be kind of sad. Hopefully, I have another sword with looting on it, so I could use like when I'm killing my animals. By the way, this right here is for Caleb. Um, I already have diamond horse armor, which is on my horse, and so I got another one. So I thought I would give it to him. And then I don't know if he has the cat disc. I know he had another one playing, but he didn't really like how it sounded, so I think he'll like this one more. That reminds me, he actually gave me a- oh, here it is, a jukebox, and I never placed it anywhere. Let's see, where should I put it? Maybe... oh, this place is a little tight. I guess the only place is my bedroom. Maybe I'll place it there? I'm gonna use this disc here. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I personally don't really like having music on when I'm playing Minecraft, but yeah. So let's take that out. <laughs> and I do have one of those downstairs if I actually want to play it. Alright, so next up is my armor. I currently do have a diamond armor and it's all enchanted and stuff, but now we have obsidian armor. So it protects a bit more and it also has blast proof too. And also, it's just a lot easier to like repair, I guess, because it's just obsidian. Whereas diamonds, you know, it can get pretty expensive. So I am going to go and mine some obsidian. I will spare you guys that because I know it's like the most boring thing to watch in Minecraft. But um, yeah, I'm going to need a lot of obsidian because some of these, I think all of these actually require reinforced obsidian, which is even more obsidian. And then compressed stone, which is stone plus andesite or diorite i don't know cobblestone is okay i'll figure it out but basically it's gonna take me a while so i'll catch up with you guys once i have all the materials one hour later all right i got a hundred obsidian i don't know if that's enough i didn't really do the math hopefully it is i actually don't know if i have enough cobblestone but i think i have a lot back home so let's go find out i'm gonna grab a ton of cobblestone a few moments later all right I think finally the last item that took a while but I think it'll be worth it so now I need to just I just guess I just enchant this like I normally would and then maybe add some upgrades to it I'll only be able to get one level 30 enchantment but I guess with the upgrades that's not really a big deal now so I'll probably use it on my chest plate Ugh, that's only I'm breaking. Let's see which one gives me the best one. Ugh, these all kind of suck. So an unbreaking upgrade actually needs a diamond chest plate. So I think I am just going to upgrade this with unbreaking, because then that'll just cost me a few levels and some lapis. And then I'd rather add protection to it. Although, let's see what protection requires. Okay, yeah, that's way more doable. Let's get that. And again, it only gave me unbreaking. I guess unbreaking too it is. Oh, actually gave me protection too. We'll get unbreaking on that, and I have more blast protection. <laughs> I guess no creepers are killing me, and I'm breaking. All right, now I guess I'll add some protection upgrades. Hopefully, I have enough leather for that. I should. I mean, I do have a lot of cows. All right, so I guess I'll get started on that, and I'll catch up with you guys once again in a little bit. Well, a little bit for you guys. This is going to take a while for me. Okay, so apparently I'm already out of leather, and I was only able to make two upgrades, so that's awesome. I'm going to have to kill my cows a lot more. They're be just flying around. That's one of the new mods that we got, which I'm actually really excited about. But of course, Yuri has a flying broom. Ah, that's creepy. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can make some more of these now. What a creep. Okay, I have three. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I guess I'll just start adding these to my armor. I don't know if I should just focus it on one or kind of distribute them. I guess I'll... Uh, I don't know. Let me just put one for now on this. And then 
baby on my leggings. Ah, someone's here. Oh, it's Caleb. Oh, I think he teleported to my house. I don't know if I actually said this in the last episode, but Caleb built the house um, right behind my house. <laughs> yeah, you see that thing over there? That's his house. <laughs> but he basically lives in my backyard now. And I guess he just uses my home teleport for some reason. So let's see, we have protection four on this, protection three, protection four, protection one. So this definitely needs an upgrade. So now that's protection two. The problem is these boots. I really like them because they make me run really fast and jump really high. So that's pretty cool. I also did add a lot of stuff to it, like Feather Falling and Depth Strider and stuff, so... I might keep them on and only switch them for these whenever, like, I'm fighting stuff. I think that might be the best idea. Um... Why does it say I have Mining Fatigue? Ah! <laughs> that always scares me. Wait, what the heck? Why do I have Mining Fatigue? Is it... The sword? Oh, I think it is. Oh, that's so weird. Why is the music playing? What? Who did that? Ah. I'm so confused. I look at it and it stops, so it's empty. What is going on? My house is haunted. I'm guessing there's a jukebox somewhere else. I have to go see what these guys are up to. What is going on? I'm just genuinely so confused. That reminds me though. Let me grab this and this to take over to Caleb. I feel like they're pranking me. Oh, I said it's coming from his house, but why do I hear it right here? Oh my god, this is so weird. Alright, let me come over here. This is the issue with Caleb living here. I can hear his music from my house. I want to turn it off. <laughs> what the heck? What's his skin? He doesn't even have a face. Ah. I'm guessing he's showing me- Oh, he made the nether star sword. Wow, that was fast. I knew he had one nether star already, but I guess he got another one, so that's pretty cool. I should leave. <laughs> ah! Why is Cody- <laughs> He has a boomerang, really. <laughs> Making a deal with him. <laughs> oh, he stopped it, I think. Here you go. Alright, well that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I definitely feel a lot more protected now, and yeah, I'm just ready to fight. So, I'm excited for future episodes. I hope you guys are too. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!